Hey, welcome to Two Minutes Pi. How to achieve concurrency in Python? Well, there are several ways, but first of all, what is concurrency? Have you ever tried downloading a web series where you download multiple episodes at the same time? This is an example of concurrency. Concurrency is the ability to execute multiple tasks simultaneously, where these tasks run independently of each other. Now let's see different methods to achieve concurrency. First, we have threading. This method uses threads to run multiple tasks concurrently within the same process. It's great for I.O.-bound tasks like reading from a file or making network requests. To learn more about this method, click on the I button, or you can find the link in the description below. Moving on, the second method we have is multiprocessing. This method involves running tasks in separate processes, making it ideal for CPU-bound tasks. Each process runs in its own memory space, avoiding the global interpreter lock, in short, GIL, that can limit threading performance. If you don't know what GIL is, you can find a link to the video in the description box. Okay, now the third method is asynchronous programming. For that, we can use the async IO library. This method uses coroutines to achieve concurrency, making it perfect for I.O.-bound tasks that spend a lot of time waiting. Again, you can find the relevant video in the description below to learn more about it. Remember, concurrency is the one of most important parts of programming. Next time, leverage this feature in your projects. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.